everyone this is the third lecture of our last chapter which is the design of water tank so students in the last lecture we are discussing about the design constants which is used in water tank design so this is your design constants in which there are mainly two design constants first one is modular ratio which is denoted by small m and the equation of small m is 280 divided by 3 sigma cbc so students in design of water tank there are number of concrete grades used but whenever in the question there is no any clarification regarding the concrete grade then it is assume that we have to use our m30 grade of concrete so this is the permissible stresses which is given in is 3370 part 2 2009 so whenever we have to design any water tank then we have to assume our concrete grade as m30 and for m30 grade of concrete our value of sigma cbc which is the permissible stress in concrete due to bending in compression okay this is the full form of sigma cbc so the value of sigma cbc is 10 newton per mm square so if we have to put our value of sigma cbc into this equation then we will, we will get our answer of modular ratio is 9.33 and after that we have to find out our second important design constant which is the neutral axis it is denoted by small k so the equation of small k is m into sigma cbc divided by m into sigma cbc plus sigma ht so this is the last lectures revision after that we are discussing about the components of ins water tank so first question is what is ins type of water tank and what is the importance of ins water tank so for large storage capacity overhead tanks like circulars ins rectangle conical there are numbers of water tanks are used but as per economical point of view our circular water tanks are very economical as compared to the other type of water tank okay so in a circular water tank there is no any domes provided over there but the top and bottom slabs of such tanks becomes thick because the capacity of water is large and if the capacity of water is la is large then it takes more water pressure on the side of the tank and bottom and top of the tank and the last is in tank is a solution of such tanks where domes are to be provided in place of flat slab so now we are discussing about the different components of in type of water tank so first of all you can see that in this in type of water tank there is two domes circular domes so this is first dome and this is second dome so this dome is provided at the upper portion so it is called as top dome and this portion is called as bottom dome so these two components after that there is one circular beam ring beam it is called ring beam so if you are seeing any water tank from elevation point of view then you have to see this type of construction two beams like that but this beam is generally a circular ring beam so there are three rings beams in the whole in type of water tank so this ring beam is called as top ring beam this is called a middle ring beam 
and this is called bottom ring beam so there is three types of ring beams are in the in type of water tank after that this portion this portion is generally a circular cylinder so this is the wall of circular cylinder so it is called as cylindrical wall this portion is a conical portion so the wall of conical portion is called as conical wall so up to an ultim ultim now there are seven components so first one is top dome top ring beam circular wall or it is called as cylindrical wall this is a middle ring beam this is conical wall and this is bottom ring beam and last one is bottom dome after that our whole water tank is resting on columns it is already discussed that there are columns and the columns is also called as staggered and the beam connected to the columns is called as bracing okay but sometimes you all know that in place of column the whole structure is constructed with the concrete so it is called as supporting shaft so students this is the main components of in type of water tank after that we are discussing about there is some assumptions which is made while we have to design any in type of water tank because in general practice you have to assume the dimension because this design of water tank is also a trial and error design so whenever any project comes to in your hand so any owner or any amc party is told you that you have to design a water tank having capacity of 10 lakh liters after that all the data and all the assumptions are made by structural engineer so whenever any owners or any amc parties are comes and take the responsibility to any structural engineer then we have to assume this trial and error data and after that if all the assumptions and all the stability checks are clear then our preliminary dimensions to be our final dimensions okay so first of all capital d capital d means diameter of spherical dome so you can see that this diameter is called as capital d second one is h1 h1 means rise of top dome so if this dimension is assume then we have to find out this rise of top dome because this is our horizontal plane because all the circular ring beam is at this portion so if dome is like this then the maximum height achieved from the center is called as rise of top dome so the dimension of rise of top dome is assume as 0.2 into d because we have to assume our capital d at the first stage after that the second assumption is this height of cylindrical portion but generally if we have to assume our horizontal means diameter diameter of the cylindrical portion then we have to find out our this edge it is called as the height of cylindrical portion but if you have the general idea that what is the height of this portion then you have to assume that this height is 0.6 0.7 into d and what is d d means the diameter of cylindrical portion or it is also called as diameter of spherical dome after that next is h and after that h0 h0 means height of conical portion so this is conical portion 
so h0 means this dimension from vertical face this is h0 so this h0 is 0.3 into d okay after that next is rise of bottom dome so you can see that this bottom cylindrical portion bottom conical dome okay bottom ring beam is like this then your bottom dome is like this then the what is this height this height is achieved then it is called as rise of bottom dome it is denoted by h2 and the preliminary dimensions of h2 is find out with the help of 0.2d after that this is d0 d0 means diameter of bottom circular ring beam it means diameter of supporting shaft this is d0 so this d0 is the 60 percentage of this d it means this is 0.6d so this is the general assumption made of dimension while we have to design any type of water tanks okay after that in inch type of water tank or in circular type of water tank there are main two types of forces acting on water tank so the first type of force is meridional thrust it is also called as meridional force it is denoted by f sorry or it is denoted by t1 so what is the equation of t1 the equation of t1 is w which is the load coming from the upward upper portion which is the self weight of components and the live load r1 means radius so this r1 is discussed in the next slide upon 1 plus cos theta 1 now what is theta 1 it is also discussed in the next slide so this is the equation of t1 now this t1 is maximum at the support because this t1 is maximum at support so if any force is coming from over here this force is coming like this like this okay so this force is like this tangential portion okay so this is your t1 after that second force is hook force it is also called as circu circumference force it is denoted by t2 so what is the equation of t2 the equation of t2 is w into r1 w is also discussed in this equation r1 means radius 1 into cos theta 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus cos theta 1 so this circular force circumferential force is maximum at the crown crown means this portion at gummat point in any temple you can see that there will be some crown at crown crown means at gummat at the center so this circumferential force or hook force is maximum at the crown okay after that what is radius because you all know that if the water is in the water tank then your cg is at this point okay so you can see that this is your center point and we have to draw this dome with the help of radius 1 this is radius 1 so this is radius 1 and this is your dome top dome and like this this is your radius 2 and this is your center point and this is radius with the help of this radius you have to draw and you have to design this bottom dome okay and this is your center point and this angle with the radius 1 is called as theta 1 and this radius and the angle between the radius and the center point is called as theta 2 now what is the equation of radius 1 the equation of radius 1 is h square 
प्लस डी बाई टू होल स्क्वेर डिवाइडेड बाई टू एच एंड द बॉटम डोम इज डी जीरो टू बाई डी जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई टू होल स्क्वेर बिकॉज दिस इज योर डी जीरो डी जीरो बाई टू होल स्क्वेर प्लस एच वन स्क्वेर डिवाइडेड बाई टू इंटू एच वन नाउ दिस इक्वेशन हाउ कैलक्युलेट रेडियस वन एंड रेडियस टू इज ऑल ऑल्सो डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर आफ्टर दैट हाउ टू फाइंड आउट दिस थीटा देन दिस इज योर डी इट मीन्स दिस इज योर डी बाई टू If we have to find out theta one, then we have to provided our tan theta equation. It means tan theta one is equal to d by two divided by radius. Okay, so your equation of theta one is tan inverse d by two into r one. And similarly, this is your d zero. It means this is d zero by two. So The angle theta two is equal to tan inverse d zero by two divided by r two. So students, this is the end of today's session. And in the next lecture, we are discussing about our example number one, which is the design of the inch type of water tank. So this is the end of today's session. Thank you.